What you've seen from the Sixers across their past three games is as close to their offensive blueprint as it gets. Let's take it back six nights ago. Watch the... <laughs> With AD on his back. Ooh. Come on, really? Look it off. Thomas Bryant. <laughs> Hunting humans, we call that. Carve out some space and a clock. The same victim forgot to put his hands up. <laughs> Your shoes on tie, bro. James, you. James, you demon. Look, LeBron sees the same mismatch we do. Problem is, he left Batiste wide open. Their defense shrinks, and Beat has DeAnthony do his dirt. He keeps his hands clean. They got Austin Reeves out here fighting for dear life. Step back midi in space. Hang has he dribble pull up. In space. <laughs> Poor kid, bro. Favorable one-on-one -on -one matchup in space. Now when they take that space away, you gotta make the defense pay. But if the defense gives you space, work out. That's basically the Sixers offense because they've got four, but for the sake of this video too, prolific individual scores. It's games like these that just seem unfair. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. These defenses are helpless. Look at this freak with the handles pushing pace. Hey, you want some of this guy? Mm. Body bump, lefty flow, and the foul. Uh-huh. Rip through, count. One dribble, and he's at the rack. That's got to feel terrible. But this probably feels worse. You get bodied, commit a foul, and it's a bucket. Damn. Like he's out there by himself. One triple pull. Yo, this is too much space to give. You're giving a 33 point per game score a blank canvas. Now I've done my best to demonstrate what the backbone of this offense is. Tobias can score, Maxi puts up points, Harden contributes as a scorer, but everything goes through the big guy. The Sixers want him playing through defenders, putting fouls on him, establishing himself around the basket, working inside out as the game progresses. Now Harden's done a really great job deferring to Embiid, getting him in his spots, letting him establish himself while also finding his own shot, which I think he and the Sixers envision. They're coexisting as overwhelming one-on-one -on -one bucket getters. And we're missing another layer. That's James Harden with the rock in his hands as a point guard, a distributor which is an offense in itself. His assist totals across these three games were 12, 16, and 15. Back-to-back -back games with 15 or more assists. Some as simple as a pass ahead or finding a teammate unaccounted for defensively in transition. Now peep the eyes. Others a little more genius. He's been posting up with his back to the basket some too which has created brilliant opportunities for both him as a scorer and his teammates around the perimeter. I'm just blown away by how effectively he gets his teammates involved in the game. How much pressure he takes off of them. How much easier he makes the game for them by being selfless, by understanding tendencies, by doing his homework. It's the little thing. I think he's okay sacrificing shots and points because he knows what he's capable of as a playmaker. He's a game changer. Now you combine the threat of Harden getting to a bucket with his generational playmaking, then pair that with Embiid's skill set, and you've got one of the league's deadliest sources of offense in the half court. Their two-man game. I'm going to show you nine clips where Embiid receives the ball as a role man. What's significant about these clips is Embiid took five dribbles. That's it. Harden is empowering arguably the most powerful scorer in the NBA. You know, Harden's temporarily making the defense forget about Embiid. By the time they adjust, he's already moving downhill or at his spot. And he didn't have to work. He didn't have to post up. He didn't have to dribble. 
That's partially how Embiid ends up with these 40, 50, 60 point stat line. He doesn't have to overwork himself on every possession. And the two man is so deadly because of the optionality. There's an Embiid assist out of the two man. It produces Embiid buckets, Harden buckets, whatever the defense gives, they'll take. Look, you know Embiid's gonna get his and Harden's gonna do his thing. So with that said, the most encouraging takeaway over this stretch is how the ball's moving because that's the key to optimizing their offense. And B picks up the blitz, he stays in the pocket, Melton swings it to the corner for a comfortable Tobias attempt. Again, that Lakers defense shrinks, so the Sixers work the rock around the perimeter faster than that LA defense can react. And this is a defense with bad habits as it is. Some ball watching in that far side corner. Beat up high once again, He's too hot. He swings it. Harden makes the extra pass. And no one rotates to the corner, which rightfully pisses Brown off. You've got Harden to Tobias. Tobias, driving kick to Matisse. That's three different touches. And then on this possession, four. Hey, that's it for me. I figured the offensive eruption should be the focal point as opposed to their defense. But we will keep an eye on that side of the ball for the next one as the competition increases over the next few weeks. As always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you could, comment down below. Like the video, share it with a friend, share the channel with a friend, get at me on Twitter, subscribe, yeah! All of it. Listen, you're staying solid, you know me. I salute you. Stay safe, stay solid. We'll catch up soon.